Yo. Yo. 50 years of hip hop. 50 years of hip hop from Listener Power, KEXP. Welcome to 50 Years of Hip Hop. I'm Larry Mizell Jr. This week, Martin Douglas takes us back to 2018 with the track Vindaloo by Armand Hammer. Elucid and Billy Woods approach rap from two very different creative workflows, and that actually works in their favor to create their own unique flavor. Check it out. The art of lyricism is a time-honored tradition, from Homer to Shakespeare to Bob Dylan. It's obvious that rap took lyricism to new levels that have evolved tremendously over the past half century. Linguistically, hip-hop has not only served as the apex of the recited word, but it's also created totally new dialects and new additions to the English language, words like bling and twerk. The reality is, from the start, rap music was always destined to be more significant than a mere fad. Case in point, these days you could take entire classes on rap at universities all over the world. When it comes to Arm & Hammer, they're the type of rap group that provokes intense study. After a steady climb in recognition, the duo of Billy Woods and Elucid eventually became part of a new vanguard of rap writing. There was once a long-held sentiment about how we as Black people could only gain material wealth through sports, entertainment, and selling drugs. Arm & Hammer explored this topic in the track Vindaloo from their 2018 masterpiece, Paraffin. The beat from the group's longtime collaborator, Messiah Music, falls somewhere between the sort of boom-bap that put New York rap on the map and a harp-driven dream sequence. Woods navigates the heavy drums with a short story. The narrator pockets money from an incorrect count and contemplates running away with the full drop-off from a drug deal. He surveys a vast expanse of liquor stores and tenement buildings, transitioning into a meditation or formal education. He explains that although generations of people are conditioned to use college as the gateway to financial security, so many people get rich by circumventing it altogether. Not the one to tell shorty, slow your roll. The kid was keen, made the exception, take it from me, go get that degree. He dropped out, got rich as can be. Seen him grinning on TV, all I said was my G. Under my breath, sip tea, it's none of us. Appropriate to Woods' writing style, his verse alludes to light skinned NBA players behind the three point line and Nazi Germany's short lived invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941, and ends with the young man getting his first piece of jewelry. Here's what Arm and Hammer told us about their writing process in an interview last year. Being so strategic about going into a booth or sitting down to write with like a direct idea is not really my way. <laughs> it's not really my way. I decided to let things just flow. It'll start talking back to you. I really believe that, you know, if you're just listening, you're paying attention, it's going to tell you what you should be saying. Like the songs speak to you. I mean, composing an album and you're starting to put the songs together. Songs start revealing themselves. And you see like relationships and ideas and, oh, it should go here. It should go here. If not mine, then who's? That's just a few that made news. He loses first, as revealed by his process. It's harder to pin down conceptually. It includes the smells of a feast, followed by a short grammar lesson. Old school household smell like soul food. Slow stew, spoon of a pearl couscous, onion noodle. Elusive style leans heavily on fractured imagery and stream of conscious meditation. Here he illustrates clattering shackles next to a figure climbing pineapple trees. He recommends everybody read Zora Neale Hurston and ends with the parallel between the cotton trade over a hundred years ago and the crack cocaine trade, which came about 60 years later. Elucid neatly ties the end of his second verse to Woods' character in the first verse. Masterful. Then there was a 
you practically need a bibliography to unpack the figures and topics in Arm & Hammer songs. Let's start with the name of their group, Arm & Hammer. Arm & Hammer was the son of a communist radical and himself a businessman who, among other things, attempted to broker peace between the United States and several communist countries. As for Arm & Hammer, the group, one minute they're referencing Steely Dan and the artist Jenny Holzer, the next they're rapping about the infamous politician Mobutu Sese Seko. Illusions aside, Woods and Elucid write lines that you have to hear over and over to understand the layers of meaning. That's not just from the serotonin rush of hearing a clever punchline and hitting the rewind button. After all, Woods and Elucid are just as steeped in hip-hop tradition as they are wary of being traditionalists, so they have plenty of bars worthy of an instant rewind. This fruitful partnership started off as a collaboration on Woods' cult classic solo album, History Will Absolve Me. Here's what Elucid told us about the track that sparked their collaboration, Pompeii. It was like the hardest thing I heard all year round, and uh, I was like, this dude is a problem. And of course, we should like make some more music, you know. You visited the camps, you oversaw the torture, you tightened the clamps, you locked to reporters. From there, they decided to pursue a full length group project. Arm and Hammer dropped their debut album in 2013, titled Race Music. Again, here are Woods and Elucid talking about the early sessions for the album. Obviously, early on, I was like, man, this could be something. And I think with race music, I stand by that album. There's a lot of great music on that, but a lot of push and pull, finding. Yeah, we're just getting to know each other. Yeah, like as men, but also as artists with our like particular preferences for like production. Woods and Elucid have separate creative approaches, separate upbringings, and in many ways, separate lives altogether. They've still managed to fully fuse their individual styles, intellectual concerns, and emotional interiors. To date, they put out six albums as a group, and many more as solo artists. Arm & Hammer have carved out a space for their aesthetically and intellectually daring work. Vindaloo came at a time when the duo were entering a new level of recognition for their writing style. Just when you thought hip-hop music has exhausted all the ways it can dazzle listeners and capture the imagination of intellectually curious fans, another MC reveals their vast talent. In this case, two MCs. This piece was written by Martin Douglas, audio produced by Roddy Nick. I'm Larry Mizell Jr. Check back next week for another episode celebrating 50 years of hip-hop. It's KEXP, where the music matters.